DC control system is a critical emergency power source for substation devices that protect and control transmission and distribution systems. The battery charger is a key part of the DC control system. This first part of the program will look at the functions and components of a typical substation battery charger. The key points that will be covered include the functions of a substation battery charger, the main components of a charger, and the function of each of these components. A battery charger serves several functions in a typical substation DC system. First, it converts an alternating current input into a direct current output. Second, the charger applies the direct current output to a battery and controls the output in order to keep the battery fully charged. The charger also provides some or all of the direct current to the DC load. The battery supplies the DC load only when the load exceeds the capacity of the charger, or when a power outage prevents the charger from providing direct current to the load. The charges used in substations can vary in size and design, but most have some common components or features. An AC breaker is provided for connecting the charger to or disconnecting the charger from its source of alternating current. A DC breaker is provided for connecting the charger to or disconnecting it from its DC loads, which include the battery. A DC voltmeter indicates the charger output voltage being supplied to the DC loads. Normal voltage in this system is usually a little above mid-scale. And a DC ammeter indicates the charger output current being supplied to the DC loads. Normal current is usually fairly low on the scale. A substation battery charger will also typically have a switch or timer that is known as a float equalize switch. The terms float and equalize refer to two different charge voltage levels that may be applied to the battery. When the timer is off or at zero, the charger operates at a normal preset float voltage. When the timer is activated, the charger operates at a predetermined higher equalized voltage for the number of hours for which the timer is set. After the time elapses, chargers with a timer automatically return to the float charge voltage. Chargers with a switch must be manually switched to the float charge mode. In addition to the float equalized switch, or a timer, a potentiometer is provided for adjusting the float charge voltage. And another potentiometer is provided for adjusting the equalized charge voltage. In addition to all the components just shown, a charger may have a number of other components. Some chargers may have a pilot light. The light is typically on when there is an AC input to the charger. A charger may also have a ground fault detection system. The system on this charger uses positive and negative ground fault indicating lights. Both lights are typically dimly lit. If the positive side of the DC system becomes grounded, the positive light will glow brightly and the negative light will go out. If the negative side of the DC system becomes grounded, the negative light will glow brightly and the positive light will go out. This charger also has positive and negative ground test buttons. Each button, when pressed, will introduce a ground in its respective part of the system. The buttons may be used to check that the ground fault detection system and lights are functioning properly. Finally, a charger may contain a variety of alarms and relays, including a high voltage alarm and relay, a low voltage alarm and relay, and a power failure alarm and relay. The specific components can vary from one charger to another. It's good to learn which components are included on the charges in your system. To a degree, this will determine which checks you will make when you service your substation DC control systems. This part of the program presented the functions of a typical substation battery charger, its main components, and the function of each of those components. The next part of this program will cover a typical DC control system and how the charger works with other components in that system.